Good day everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have two fractions. 2 over x is equal to 3 over 6. So what number represented by x that make the two fractions equal? So this one. Can you answer this in 7 seconds? If not, I'll show you how to solve it. Just continue watching. Okay, so what is the value of x or how to find the value of x in these two fractions? 2 over x is equal to 3 over 6. So I will cite you more easier fractions. 3 over x is equal to 3 over 7. So to find the value of x, if you notice, the numerators are equal, 3 and 3. So to make them equal, since the denominator of the right fraction is 7, then the denominator of the left fraction is also 7. So 3 over 7 is equal to 3 over 7, and they are equal. So go back in our original equation. If you notice, the numerators are not equal. The left fraction is 2 and the right fraction is 3. So we cannot use the same process. So some, they use uh, decimal form. So they convert 3 over 6 into decimal form and that is 0 0.5. Here on the other fraction, on the left fraction, 2 over x. So what is the value of x? So that if divide by or 2 divided by x, that's equal to 0 0.5 also. Okay, so this is how to compute. 2 over x is equal to 3 over 6. Since that is equation, all you have to do is by just cross multiply. So you multiply x times 3, that is 3x. And you multiply the other pair, 2 times 6 is equal to 12. So since, it, since that is equation, that is equal. So 3x is equal to 12. So what is the value of x? To find the value of x, divide 3 to both sides of the equation to cancel 3. So the remaining variable in the left side is x and 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. There is other way to find the value of x or the shortcut way. You just multiply 2 times 6 that is equal to 12. So the product you divide it by 3. So 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. So that's how. That's the shortcut way. Okay, so let's check our answer. If x is equal to 4, so 2 over 4. Is 2 over 4 in decimal form that is equal to 0 0.5? Okay, yes. Okay, so here's the other way to check if the two fractions are equal. You just reduce the fraction in lowest term. For example, 3 over 6. The lowest term of 3 over 6 is 1 half. So how to get 1 half? The common factor between 3 and 6 is 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. The numerator and 6 divided by 3 is 2. That is the denominator. So that is 1 half. How about for 2 over 4? The common factor there is 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. Over 4 divided by 2 is 2. So 1 half. And 1 half is equal to 1 half. So they are equal. So the value of x there is equal to 4. Okay, so thanks for watching guys. I hope you learned a lot from this video. So don't forget to like and subscribe for more video lesson.